I can talk about this next topic for hours. One of my favorites of all U.S. coin collecting. But I was told I got to make it a Cliff Notes version this evening, so let's get to it, shall we? Over the time, the last 230 odd years, the U.S. Mint has been striking coins for us here in circulation as part of commerce. There have been a couple of unique types of coins. Half dimes, right? Three cent pieces, two cent pieces, 20 cent pieces. But then there's been other series of coins that come out. And the nickel was one of them. We used to have a five cent half dime. And in 1866, we came out with a nickel, a five cent piece made out of this new metal called nickel. Got nicknamed the nickel quickly, even though it's a five cent piece, same concept. And it's kind of stayed that way since 1866. We're in 2024. But the war years, World War II war years, the U.S. Mint nickel was way more precious, way more precious than that of silver. So as a result, for those short period, these 11 coins, the U.S. Mint made silver nickels. And they designated the back of the coin above the dome, big, big, big mint marks. So if you turn it over, even though you can tell they look silver, turn it over and see the big S, see the big D. Did anybody notice something though? That P mint mark in 1942 was the first time in U.S. mint history Philadelphia put a mint mark on a coin for circulation. So this collection has it all. But then there's this one holder that we get twice a year, two times. We're on the air five hours on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every week, 52 weeks a year, right? Holidays included, that's what we do. Twice this year, this being the first, this is gonna be available. And it's because of the World War II effort the silver nickels, the great story, but also the holder and the raising of the flag by the Marines and Iwo Jima. It's just a beautiful way to put together. They call this the big Iwo Jima capital plastic. Now the holder by itself sells for $39 to $49. Now all of our coins are beautiful uncirculated specimens. We're talking about gorgeous. A couple of these, you're seeing a slight yellow hue to them. Just helps prove out their originality. But anything other than a light yellow hue here and there, those have been all kicked out. There are no black spots, which are very, very common in this series. Or any other discolorization based on how people stored the coins. But most of the nickels at this time in history were in yellow wrappers, right? So coins that have a little yellow here and there sometimes are just proving out their original. They've been like this for three quarters of a century. But right there, that P mint mark is the deal. It's the deal. How many of you even knew we had silver nickels? I mean, in 2004, 2005, we had the 200th anniversary of the Louisiana Purchase and the Westward Journey by Lewis and Clark with Sacagawea, etc. The keel boat, the peace nickel, the buffalo, and the ocean view. We could have easily made a silver nickel for the event that that was. It was significant in U.S. history. But this one was a necessity. We didn't make it to make it cool. We made it because we needed nickel as a war effort. And then in 1946, we went back to what? Making coins out of nickel for the five cent piece. So there are two coins from 1942, and then you get PDS from 43, 44, and 45. 11 and all. The competition, coin by coin, the same 11 uncirculated coins. Not in this holder. Again, they sell that for between 40 to 50 dollars by itself. They're just over 500 dollars. 1942P, 65, 52S, 54. They're at 120 bucks for this, the first two coins. 1944 is the key year. Those three are tough. 
They're at 68.50, 69.50, and 63.50. If you add them all up, just those three coins that we have in our set, they're at $201. It is just a great, not a good, a great collectible. Good question. There was one other coin the U.S. Mint did a unique thing with during World War II. And if you remember the steel cent, that was 1943 only. Our currency had labels like Hawaii on the Hawaii notes and the yellow seal, I'm sorry, the brown, the yellow seal, excuse me, on the North African notes. So there were other provisions during World War II to protect our currency. This one was not a protection of currency. This was a protection of precious metal. And during the war, nickel was way more precious than silver was. So these are those coins. Since 1866, the five cent piece made out of nickel has been a thing. Different designs from the shield to the Liberty to the Buffalo to the current Jefferson. And the Jefferson was introduced in 1938 and it's still the nickel we see today. Even though it's a different view, the current one he's facing right at us, right? They changed that design in 2006. But this one in this unique special holder is wow it just looks impressive does it not i mean i've seen the others and i love the other holders and maybe you have worked with us on one of those holders before they're gorgeous keeps them all together it's just a great piece of history at a crazy savings But our way of doing business is very simply this. We're looking coin by coin by coin by coin. If I'm short 44 S's, I better find some. Find an original roll? Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? And that gives us 40. Usually it's three here, two here, one here. And we just accumulate over time. Which is a good thing because the other side of this story is, as I referenced earlier, we only get this holder but twice a year. So join us, everybody. That crazy silver nickel set, 11 coins in all. The history is perfect. Guys, let's put a 30 second clock up, by the way. We're down to our last 10 sets. So, a trivia question for your next coin trivia What was the first US coin to bear the P mint mark? The Philadelphia mint, which never marked its coins. And you're going to answer it with it was the War Nickels from 1942. They marked the entire series, 42, 3, 4, and 5. Four of them all together. And then into the modern issue commemoratives. But this is where it all started. So not 500, 199.95. Not 30, 40, 50 dollars for the holder included in our price and assembled for you. Told you this was going to be a lot of fun. I could go on. But I was told it's time for us to be moving on as well.